Listen to that, mate. I'm just listening to the engine as we're going <laughs> up this hill. <laughs> a new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. Hi everyone, welcome back. We are back in the car. Yeah, early Tuesday morning, just gone eight o'clock. Yeah. And we're heading down to Caloundra just to get a couple, or the last bit of warranty work done on the van. Yeah. Um, and we've got the van on the back. So we're in the Ram. It seems so far away I know. this car. <laughs> so we're in the Ram and we thought we'd just take the opportunity just to give you a bit of a review on the Ram and how it goes towing our 3.65 ton caravan. The Ram is absolutely perfect. It's comfortable. Um, it's, it just kills it towing this van. You don't even know it's even there. I know that sounds like an acronym, but it actually is the truth. You don't even know it's even there. The car isn't even breaking a sweat towing this van up down the Bruce Highway at the moment. It, um, is, it is. I mean, we've also towed it through the busy parts of um, Caloundra as well and we came we actually we chose to come back a different way the first time we we picked the van up from um, Caloundra didn't we, we yep. went up and down the stopping starting the traffic lights the tighter streets the back streets and all that kind of stuff because we really wanted to give it a, just a test hey and yeah see we, what it's like yeah we came back by the Sunshine Motorway that was pretty pretty stop start and we're also in the middle of a thunderstorm too on the way home that day um, that yeah that wasn't fun so that was lots of fun so we were so worried that we we're going to get hail damage on the car, yeah. the caravan. So it was just, oh, if that had happened, I think I just would have thrown my hands in the air and said, I'm done. <laughs> so, but it was, all but it was good. okay. We it managed to good. just sort of sit it out um, where we ended up in the block. So it was okay. Yeah. So currently, look, we're on the Bruce Highway traveling south. We're traveling around 95 kilometers an hour. Um, I don't tend to travel really any faster than 95 when we're towing. Um, I just feel a lot safer sort of towing around that speed and I think it's a perfect speed for towing a brig that's, you know, over six and a half tonne. I think it's perfect for us. Yeah, it's a comfortable speed. I mean, you, you do go between the 95 and 100. Yeah. Your 95 is like your sweet spot to yep. drive. Yeah. But look, with the Ram, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things that we've done just to get the Ram ready uh, to tow this van and to make sure that we can do so safely and legally. So the first thing you need to know about the Ram is that in the rear, the Ram has coil suspension, which is quite different to a lot of the other dual cab utes on the market where they have leaf suspension. What that does, it does lead to the car having a really, really nice soft ride, but it does also, when you're towing, and when you've got a big ball weight like what we do in the back of the car, which is around the 350 kilo mark, it does tend to create a bit of a sag in the back when the when the tow ball goes, uh, when the caravan goes onto the tow ball, and that's not good because you don't want you don't want the front of the caravan dipping down and the back of the caravan dipping down as well, creating like that V shape because that's really dangerous, hey? Yeah. Because what that does do is it does a couple of things. The first thing it, it increases the weight on the back axle because when the car is like that you get a lot of the weight from the front going onto the rear axle. And you also, your steering becomes very light. Um, and it can also increase your stopping distance. So we did, we've done two things. The first thing we've done is we've put airbags um, into the car. Yeah. We did that with TJM at Maruchidor. Uh, we went and saw a fellow down there called Andrew, who was a really great guy. And I'm just gonna show you a little bit about what we've done there now. We've just completed the stage one of the upgrades to the Ram. We're down here at TJM at Maruchador and they've just put in some poly air airbags uh, into the back of the car. That's going to help us level out the load when we put the um, when we put the van onto the back of the car. So the next thing is once we get the van in a few days we're going to get it all weighed again, see where we're at and then if necessary we're going to get the GVM upgrade as well. So. Um, first stage done I'm going to show you what the what the airbags look like um, but if you're after anything done here on the sunny coast come down here and see TJM uh, at uh, Maruchador come here and see Andrew he's a really great guy uh, he'll look after you right, I meant to say as well but Andrew is such a great guy he even drove me down to the plaza I got down here at 730 he drove me down there dropped me off picked me back up again when the car was done so it was 
really really painless because right now I've only got one car but look let me show you um, what they've done all right so they've put the um, airbag there inside each coil okay so um, this is going to basically just level out the car once we put the van on um, they can go up to 60 psi I think we're probably going, only going to need probably about 30 psi in there but we'll see how we go once we once we get the van on in a couple of days. All the, so all the airbags really do, it just makes that rear suspension that little bit tighter, so you don't get that so much of a sag. Um, so to give you an idea, between our our rear our rear um, wheel hub and our rear wheel, we've got 21.5 centimeters between the rear wheel and that and that hub, and that's when there's nothing. Um, when the van isn't hooked up. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that when the van is hooked up, <coughs> we've still got that 21.5 centimeters. Now, what we do is that we inflate the, the airbags to 35 pounds, all right, 35 PSI. And that just gives the, that rear that little bit more support. Now, when the, when the caravan came onto the, the tow ball, that, the back of the van then came down to about 21 centimeters. So it only came down literally half a centimeter, which was really good. That was with the airbags inflated. So what we do is that we, just to, just to repair it, just to bring it up just that little bit more, is that we also utilize our weight distribution hitch. And we actually asked a lot of people whether we needed to use the weight distribution hitch, whether we needed needed it I guess yeah we weren't too sure if we still needed it with the airbags or not so we asked Andrew at TJM we also asked the mechanics down at Ram and they all said you should definitely still use it so yeah and that that's we don't actually have to have the full upgrade or anything like no. that done either so that was also what they were telling us yeah um, yeah we like we said we've never not used one no with any of our caravans so it was going to be very weird actually not putting it on this so that's why we asked the question to all the professionals and got everyone's opinion and they were they all were the same so so basically what the weight distribution hitch does it just brings that back end up just that little bit more yeah and um you know the car's nice and level and the van's really level too so the steering feels perfect doesn't feel any different at all to what it does when we're not towing yeah so that's the first lot of upgrades we did we then had to get some more electrical work done uh, on the caravan we had to get some anderson plugs uh, installed into the car and we had a fellow called David from I can't remember the name I'm gonna put it just yeah, above we'll the scene right now but David came out he was a mobile uh, auto electrician here on the sunny coast he came out to the car and he installed our red and white Anderson plugs and he did a great job so um, I'm gonna show you what he did right now here we go David is a mobile um, auto electrician. He specializes in uh, cars and caravans. So if you have any issue with either, you've got to give this guy a call. He comes to your door. We've had him out before looking at a few things in our van and he was just amazing. So when we knew we had to get this done, we didn't hesitate to get him out here again. So, um, so what David's doing today is he is putting on the grey and the red Anderson plug on our ram. So uh, let me show you what we're looking at right, here. So you can see there, he's added the grey and the red. Um, we are a little bit specific as to what we need those for because um, uh, the way Sunseeker wire up their vans is quite specific. So David came out here and he's done that for us. Um, so let me introduce you to him. Hey Dave. Hello. Uh, hey Dave, so show us what you're doing. What are we doing over here now? Okay, so currently we're just finishing up this project for you. This is going to be, this is a 100 amp relay. Oh, yep. Which will allow us switching on and off the current at the back of the vehicle. Okay, cool. Which will prevent your battery from draining and other things from staying on when you don't want them to. Okay, so when you turn the car off, it'll just, it'll just stop the power, which is good. Exactly right. And set. There's plenty of room in here for you though, isn't there? Uh, there is plenty of room. <laughs> I could probably sit in there. But, um, yeah, well, you were actually under the car before. You were sitting under the car to get the to get the cables yes. under, which is quite quite unique. All right, Dave. So if someone wants to call you on the sunny coast, what's the number? Zero four two two six one one nine nine eight. All right. So look, when you buy your Ram, it basically comes ready to tow. It has everything you need, including an integrated brake controller. So the Ram also has what they call tow haul mode. Now. Um, 
basically you push this button and what it does is that the car then shifts into a mode where it runs on higher revs so it just gives you that little bit extra power when you're towing like a big rig now I'm not 100% sure we actually need that on all the time I think if we we're on a pretty flat straight highway I don't think we'd need to have the car running at slightly higher revs uh, but I think going up and down hills or whatever I think it definitely you can hear it, it just sounds awesome. So when the when the car runs at higher revs, you really hear the engine you know, rev really, really well. It sounds really great. The mirrors on the Ram are really great, but even the issue is, even though they are quite large, I can't physically see past the caravan uh, with, the, with the existing mirrors. But when I put these external mirrors on, or the, the, you know, the, the add-on mirrors, I can I can see right past the car and I can even see the wheels on the caravan so you know it really does add that little bit of extra extra width and the great thing about this is that these mirrors are actually wider than the van so I've also got a really good idea of the width of the van as we're going through narrow places so I know that if the mirrors fit then I know the van will fit so listen to that mate I'm just listening to the engine as we're going <laughs> up this hill <laughs> how good does it sound we do love, we do, we enjoy actually hearing the engine, don't we? Yeah, we do. Sorry. It sounds really good. Um, so look, the, the car and the van, I know it's only been a brief review, but I think that they're like a match made in heaven, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. We, we have, we're really happy with this. Um, with this rig. The only, I think the only thing we'd be disappointed in is again, if we wish we had to come straight for this yeah. for the first time yeah. around. We wish so much that we had just gone straight from the Ram. But, you know, yeah. things we weren't, we didn't know, I guess, back then, and just information got, wires got crossed, and it's just, we ended up where we are today. But we're just really grateful that we are able to get this particular model, and um, even getting this model, we've actually, we're really glad that it's a Warlock, yeah. aren't we? There's There's been a lot of little things that, I've said or Tim said and we're like oh that wouldn't have been in the, we wouldn't have had that in the other one yeah, even the like Express. the LED lights on the back they look really great yeah and uh, we have actually started to get used to the lights the headlights yeah. at night we've done a lot more night driving um, yeah but we'll probably talk more about that in another video when, we, when so. we do another full review of just the car yeah um, but yeah all in all I think I mean I'm not towing I'm not driving even though Tim suggests that I should I'm sure I will once we get back on the road again any regrets about at letting the Ranger go now, but I know I feel really bad saying this, but I actually don't miss the Ranger anymore. No. <laughs> that was a really hard thing to sell that because I really, really loved the Ranger. Absolutely nothing wrong with it because I loved that car so much. Um, but I think with the Ram and having so much more space inside, that's been huge for me. Yeah. Um, and for Riley and the dog in the back. I mean, they've got so much space in the back there. And we've yeah. actually got a whole heap of stuff on the floor behind Tim's chair, and it's. I don't know, I can't explain it. Yeah, I think I think it took us like 24 hours to get used to the size of the car, didn't it, really? Yeah. And once and once we got used to it, we now look at a Ranger on the road and we go, my God, that's so small. Yeah, isn't it? We've gotten, we have really gotten used to the size yeah. of this car. So yeah. anyway, we're happy with it. Really, really happy. And, um, it's a great tow vehicle. I feel like it's in, it's in its element. This is what it's made for. And we're really happy that we've, we've upgraded. Yeah, very, very happy. Yeah. All right, well, that's probably about it. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think that'll do us for today. And I'm sure we're going to do a full re review on the Ram after we've sort of been a few yeah. more places and given a bit more of a test run. Yep. And um, yeah, we'll leave all the other stuff that we're so excited about with this car into the next video, I think. And there's a lot. There is a lot of excitement about this car. All right, we'll be on the road soon, hey? I hope so. <laughs> Won't be long. We're crossing everything. All right, we'll see you soon. See ya. So far, my way.